Did everybody do it? Yeah. Okay, cool, whatever. Alright, so we're gonna start things out by switching out our uh, abilities a little bit. Yeah. I think this would be a good time to try out new stuff I haven't tried in our main play of this game. Nice. Uh, when are you going to pick up the suicide attack? Wait, there, there's no suicide attack in this. Aww. If only. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I think Dang. one thing I didn't realize at first was that each turtle actually does have one unique ability. Uh, they're at the very top of the list. Like, Leo's unique one is the turtle time. No, none of the other turtles can have that ability. Really? Yep. Yep. Uh, Mikey's is the cheerleader, which refreshes everyone's cooldown time. Um, Rass is the go invisible one, and Donatello's is the pizza party one. Huh. Are you sure this game isn't actually unintentionally deep? And maybe Dose is just bad at it? Uh, I can neither confirm nor deny that. <laughs> yeah, well, now I have to take a look at that because I don't think that's possible, but okay. Yeah, if you look at the very top power, that's the unique one. Pizza power. Yeah, alright. Only Don gets pizza power. Huh. Understood, I'll take a look. But today he's going to get Sumo Slap. Nice. I, that is one of the better ones, in my opinion. <laughs> and I think I change out Spin Attack for... What do I go for this time? That's Slash Roll. There's a lot of these that I haven't seen at all. You're about to fight the Shark Boss and you're not getting Shark Attack? Come on. Um, he's fighting the Ninja Girl, I think, this time, right? Yeah, Ninja Girl is this time around. Ah, we're going to Ninja Dropkick. I just want to fight Armagon, okay? <laughs> no, you'll get to it. You'll get to him. He he actually is next. He's next. Right, next. And we had him as the secret boss last time. That's true. Yes, yes, we did. It's not the same though. It's never the same. Well, eh, no, I guess it isn't. The problem with trying out all of these different techniques is that you know, the battle points that you have to spend to level them up are kind of scarce. So if you want to actually get them to a point where you can use them often, you have to grind a lot. Yeah, yeah. But that's why I'm just going to se select the ones I know I need. Like, uh, I don't, I'm not going to touch any <laughs> healing ones at all. <laughs> My god, nice. there are alternate costumes. That's actually, those are actually legitimately like awesome. Yeah, this is actually <laughs> brand new DLC that just came out for this game. Oh, okay. I'm surprised they made any DLC whatsoever for this game, but hey. Yeah. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Alright, so let's roll a new uh, cry. Let the awesomeness commence. Mikey's outfit is especially amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I know, that's why I chose him. Mikey is the best. Were you able to learn anything new, Leonardo? No, father. Nothing useful anyway. The only good thing is the police have ordered a mandatory curfew, so we aren't as exposed as we could be. Hopefully the eggheads will be able to figure out what the heck's going on. That's it! Guys, check this out. April and I have been doing a close analysis on all the data we've gathered so far, cross-referencing it against news reports and police dispatches we've intercepted, and we've come to a perplexing conclusion. This isn't just about crime. Say what now? We believe Shredder and Krang are teaming up for an invasion. An invasion? Like... I'm out of space? Maybe, we don't have specifics, but it definitely adds a dangerous new variable to the equation. Oh, crud. Cool. I rule at Space Invaders. No, it is very not cool, Michelangelo. I fear this may be too big for our family to handle. But you said it yourself, Father. We're honor-bound to do something about it. Whatever it is. Yeah, the cops got their hands full. It's up to us. We can't stop now. No. No, we cannot. We don't have a fix on Shredder or Krang's exact locations, but they are definitely operating from within the city somewhere. Well, it's the best lead we've got. We're just gonna have to keep on hunting until we track them down. And Master Splinter and I will continue to monitor things from this end while you do. Space invasion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. That's a cutscene you do not get in multiplayer mode. It's unfortunate. Yeah. Wow, they're actually out in broad daylight. Okay, I mean... Police scanners are picking up bomb threats all over the city. 
Their bomb squad is running ragged trying to defuse them, so it's up to us to take care of things there. And how exactly are we supposed to do that? Quickly, that's how. The sensors are indicating this building has bombs planted throughout that could go off at any time. Why would the foot want to blow up unfinished skyscrapers? Because they're stupid idiots, that's why. But by any time, you don't mean like in the next 10 minutes, do you, Donnie? Uh, yeah, Mikey, sure. We've got 10 minutes at least. I hope. No offense, Donnie, but you totally suck at pep talks, dude. There we go. Mikey's real talk. <laughs> Alright, so the thing about these bombs is they he says they're placed all over this building. They're actually all on the same floor. Oh. Well, that's convenient. Uh, that is convenient. <laughs> I appreciate that they're using the explosive, the bomb throwing engines to set that up. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? The guys that are covered in bombs. Yeah. Home yeah. Now, the uh, other turtles are a little more lazy this time around when it comes to objectives. Yeah, they're always bad at the bomb segments. <laughs> I mean, if they're all going to sit in the bombs, they get thrown at them. Well, no, as in they won't they won't actually start disarming the bombs themselves like they used to in the earlier part in the earlier levels. This time we have to initiate everything. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's a weird change. I'm really surprised that you can get a hit on those exploding ninjas without getting yourself blown up. That's what usually happens to me. Well, you have to throw a shuriken at them first to make all the bombs blow up, then you can actually attack them head on. Yeah, but we are dressed ridiculously. Killing a ton of enemies by blowing them up. <laughs> I do like how uh, Donatello has a mohawk this time, though. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, there he goes throwing shurikens at things. Now I'm trying to find that bomb thrower, but I think they got him. So basically, I I feel like the story is really dropping big hints, like. Can we can we talk about like some spoilers from uh, one of the other uh, turtle things? Earlier stages or what? Yeah. What you talk? What you need? Um, how like it's not just. Uh, it, I believe the two thousand the two thousands turtles, which was the sort of the the semi grim dark one. Mm -hmm. Um It was the the spoiler was that um, uh, Shredder was actually um, one of the. Uh, was actually like not Krang, or maybe he was Krang. No, it wasn't Krang. No, I know what you're he, talking uh, about. Yeah, but he was one of the little. We well, use the one of the Krang people, basically. Right, Ultron. Yeah, Ultrons, and they. Uh, Splinter wasn't one. I don't think. God, no, it's it been was a just while. the Shredder yeah, that was, was one in Shredder. disguise. Yeah. And he was like a super evil criminal or something. <laughs> yes. But uh, I I don't think they're going for that angle with this one. Uh, technically, so. they are, yes. In oh, this one, Krang is definitely an alien. Oh, well, yeah, Krang is definitely an alien, obviously, but I don't think Shredder specifically is an Ultron. No, no, Shredder is not. Shredder is your standard uh, ninja. Damn ninjas. Well, I don't think he'd be your standard ninja. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we'll I'm, I'm really interested, actually interested to see how the story turns out. Unfortunately, I don't think that the story gets too in-depth. I mean, still. I mean, they're, I mean, they're obviously really heavily foreshadowing it, but... <laughs> Space guns is about as obvious as you can get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, technically. I mean, they kept with Krang beating Alien since, well, the 2000 Turtles, so even the new 2012 one has that, except now they're all more goofy. I, I actually really appreciate the goofy. Uh, turtles are usually a lot better when they're being a little goofy about things. Yeah, yeah. These are goddamn teenagers. Uh, Jeez. That that part never made sense to me. Are they actually like in their teens? Like, I think are they, they're like, supposed right? to be. So yes. they're like around fifteen years old. Yeah. As, yeah. They're especially in the um, especially in the Nick the Nick version. They're definitely definitely teenagers. Okay. But and somehow, 
They've always been aged around teenage age. Yeah. I don't think they ever give them an actual age. A teenage turtle is equivalent to a teenage human, which... Yeah. I... Oh, whatever. Well, at least in mentality. Absolutely. There was a, a hidden oh. room in there? In that window? Wait. Yeah. What? Did... You can only access it while on this mission. Right, yeah. but did... <laughs> did, like, guys. all of your... All of the AI turtles just run through the lasers and not trigger them? Which I... That's a, a kind of mechanic I appreciate, but... No, they did trigger them. Oh, okay. <laughs> And we actually get shunted out of this one, so the hideouts in this level you can only get if the mission says you can. Which it is probably explains why I couldn't find it before. Now this is also the first level where you'll actually see the crane. Little crane UFOs. Yeah, this All is where times. they would normally make their first appearance, but you've seen in the subway where they already showed up much earlier than they should have. Because the whole subsequent playthrough thing, enemies will start showing up if you've already ah, eaten the levels. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty nifty. It this, is interesting, yeah. This game was made by Platinum, so I expect some things like that. <laughs> now, so, unlike the last two levels, which were very linear, this one is fairly open ended. It's like half the fun of any kind of game like this, especially when you've got mobility. So what are the little X's then? Are those objectives or... Oh, yeah, those are bombs. Now, I'm going to do this construction building here because I thought I saw something at the very top that I wanted to get to. And we're going to uh, just go up the floors and climb. You see, it just flashes, find the enemy, and just pull up your tea glass, look around, and eventually spot some. <laughs> oh yeah, and don't fall off any of the buildings all the way to the ground because you'll die. That's because someone sees you, and then they're like, oh my god, turtles. Well, actually, no, the city is in, um, what they call it, a lockdown right now, so curfew, there's no citizens out. Usually, I mean, when they said, cur like, I appreciate if they had said, like, lock martial, like lockdown or something, I can understand that. But they just said curfew. Usually that implies you need to be inside, like, after a certain time of night. But I suppose right. that has other... Other uses? It can apply at any time, I suppose. Yeah. Like, no one can be out during the day, or night. <laughs> well, not when there's ninjas and explosions all over the place. Yeah, that's true. So, what I thought I saw was actually just crane UFOs. Oh. Yeah. We're, we're trying. But the bad guys we need to be are over there at that building. And there's a button we can hit to get collectibles. What? Button. Hit button. Hit button. Yeah. There it is. Gonna aim it. Forget how to shoot. Aim it and then shoot. <laughs> wow, you <laughs> shot up four of those. Can I have a look at it when you get back? Yeah. Now I am gonna show off all the comics that we collected at the end of this. Mm. As like one of the bonus things you get to see. Oh. <laughs> Here's the disturbance I was picking up, guys. It's an assault helicopter. <laughs> yeah. Now. Uh, Normally we don't have to take down an assault helicopter, but for this particular mission we kind of do. Okay. Yeah, those helicopters are kind of dicks anyways. Yeah. So, I'm trying to get to the gun that's below us, but if you notice a little target ridicule on us, that'll come up, that's it targeting us. Right. And so, I can't get a surprise on it and I can't actually shoot at it because it's uh, knocked me out. Do you just like lie on the ground forever, or are you just no, stun locked? No, I cannot. <laughs> it's stun locked me. <laughs> Such is his face. But don't worry, we got Donatello with the with the new move we're gonna use. Oh boy! <laughs> All right, let's see it. Here it goes. And he's gone. Ow! Hey, that actually hit it. Okay. Are you able yeah. to man those turrets in this mission? Yes, uh, those turrets are manable, but they have no use right now because they're, they're stuck in a little hallway, but they're for these assault helicopters. Mm -hmm. Because there's no other way to take them down besides the uh, guns. Are they just too hard to hit? 
they're too strong. Like, the only thing you can hit them with, like, right here you can see we try to shoot it with, uh, shurikens ain't doing squat. What? No, it'll just take a little while. Dose, get, what, <laughs> keep it up. Or is, is wait, is its health going up? <laughs> no. Uh, okay. <laughs> Having so much trouble with that one crank. Yeah, but it's gone. Crying lives in all of us. So what, you were just kind of waiting for it to go around that side before you can get in the gun? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So here's our chance. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I learn how to Classic. fire this thing, give me a moment here. There we go. There you go. Uh, you deal some good damage. No. Yep. Luckily, it stopped firing, so it didn't actually kill you. And oh god, that's right, yeah. Leo just does uh. some great dancing. Alright, so the next problem is the other helicopter is not within range of it. So right. there's another gun you can see over there on the other side, so I'm gonna try to head over that way. You know, not to mention the fact that you would probably just eat shit in that last, in that gun, other gun. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> I know. Damn, oh, well, we still have a beam cannon on yeah. the I forgot about that. Of course that would work on the helicopter. It might actually do, but the helicopter's swinging around the other side of the building. <laughs> Uh. Oh, hey, it actually regenerated health. Alright, that's kind of cool. I don't know what the thing is firing at up there, but it's no problem. It's gone. Oh, maybe oh, that was its... Oh, okay. I guess the bar is its little uh, firing meter, not its health. Yeah, I think so. That's kind of cool. That's right. Alright. All right. You really should come back to the lair and stock up on items soon. Jesus, we won't be doing that for a bit. Is there any way to actually disable that, or is it just like... Nope, I don't think so. Doesn't April have like a job to do? Yeah, she's our uh, Otacon. Yeah, but she's, uh, you know, she's there's curfew now, so she can go out anyway. So she's got no good excuse. Isn't there like more things to report on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think she's a reporter in this iteration. Oh, she okay. hasn't been a reporter since, say, 83 Turtles. Kind of a shame. That was always pretty cool that she was a reporter. Yeah. So, she just lives in a sewer with Turtles. Yep, it's fine. Well, for this game, she technically does, because of an ongoing invasion, yeah. Oh, I guess, oh, I guess that's the white collectibles going out to each of the Turtles. I was wondering about that. Now it should only come to us. But, I don't, I don't know. Who knows how mysterious turtle magic works. Nice. I certainly don't. <laughs> and so, we're looking for a weapon. There, you can you can almost see it when the thing, when the thing zooms uh, yeah. in on it. Oh, you're framed. But I'm stuck on the building. There we are. Okay, so that's our goal. Right. What's this dangerous weapon going to be, then? A bomb. Could be a, a bomb. Oh. Yeah. So, I see a button there, but I don't know how to hit that. Uh, land on the roof? Nah. <laughs> uh, pressed. Sadness. Could have also done done a drop shot. Been MLG. That's right. That's fine. Not all things get that out like that. <laughs> so, this weapon is annoying. Uh... Because it's a tether item, so you and another turtle will have to be within range of it for, to move it. Oh, god. So it's an escort quest. In a sense, it's a very annoying escort quest. And you get confused. <laughs> oh well, we're gonna get rid of these cranks fairly quickly here. Hell yeah. And Back to Mikey. Hell yeah, well he's the main character I wanted to play as for this episode, so... Oh, they are called Krang Bomb, okay. Oh god, it is an escort quest, Jesus. Time for some delivery work, guys. Take it to a so, if you get too far away from it, the link breaks and the thing drops. And it blo explodes? No. No, okay. Well, you just have to good. come back and get it. Well... I guess it's nice that it doesn't, like, root end the mission if you fuck it up, so... <laughs> yeah, that is nice. 
I'm still very confused how this is supposed to be working, but okay. Well, you see that big pillar of light over there? That's where we gotta go. I, I think it's more the, um... Oh god, you both... Why <laughs> <laughs> Leo just dropped off? I think he means, like, the electrical tethers, like... Are like the turtles using their tea glasses or something? What the hell are they using? I don't know. But that thing's gonna be stuck there for a while, because anytime you touch that trampoline, you jump. Right. Didn't and you... the other guy tends to jump or teleport to to you, so... Oh, that's a... <laughs> yeah. Well, um... Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So we're gonna try again. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the perfect sound effect for this clown. Clown Fest 2, Jesus. We're fine, we're fine. We're gonna do it again. Alright, third time's the charm. Yes, yes it is. See? Oh, nope, one dropped, it's gone. Uh, <laughs> just drop off the building. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Takes care of it, no problem. What? Wait, is it. What? Is it gone? It's gone. Forever? Yeah, oh, no, it's back over no, there. It was... See? Okay, it's over there. <laughs> I was like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> So at one point I try to lure the other turtles, see if they'll just pick it up themselves, but as you can see they're not doing that. Damn. So I have to do it myself. <sighs> Even in online co-op this looks like it'd be a pain in the ass. Yeah, he but this is how you do it. it. <laughs> there you go. Jesus. Alright, cool. That's one of two. You know, you're not going to be getting an S-Rank on this mission. Also, you're going the complete wrong way. He already got an S-Rank, didn't he? That S-Rank well, got Well, it's for one of the earlier missions, not uh, for this one. Okay, so this one's actually at the top of the building that I scaled earlier. <laughs> at least it'll be easy to get down, right? Yes. <laughs> we <do this> location. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Like this game looks does look kind of fun if you're playing it. Uh, it's kind of cool that they and they have ways to mix it up, but it also feels oh, yeah. a little effort. On the other it's... hand, doing it that way. Yeah, there are some parts that really could use some more polish. Yeah. Well, not just pol they could have made it like unique and like given the levels different gimmicks instead of just <sighs> give here's random stuff to do. Every time you go in, uh, the combination thereof. There's usually some random stuff and some set quests that you have to do. Um, yeah. And just knock this guy off the building. Maybe there he goes. <laughs> All right. So the time thankfully the warp is right there. So you've learned your lesson with the trampolines. And we disconnected. Wow. Uh. Did it make so what it? do you think the bomb fell to this time? Hello? Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh. That is close, right, right there. there. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got shot out of the sky and fell too far, so it fell off, fell towards the end of the building on its own. Oh, uh, the one time you need that jump drink. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. And we're gonna be here for a little bit as I try to figure a way up. There we are. I'm surprised we A rank this, considering how long it took. Yeah, a lot of these mission ranks are really generous. What the heck is that thing? It's a laser shooter. Alright. Guys, I was right about Karai. This was her plan all along, and she's coming to personally see it through. Now, before we do, we gotta we gotta pay a visit to our sewer shop from the top of a building. Yep. Try not to think too hard about it. Goes direct to the sewer. Yeah. War <laughs> begins long before the first battle is fought. Better load up on the sweet sodas. Yes, that is actually what we're doing here. I will be watching over you, my children. All right. So, Cry's in this building we've been running in and out of this entire mission. Alright. Doesn't seem sketchy at all. No, it doesn't. So, let's go see her. 
Karai is still Shredder's daughter, right? In this iteration, yeah. yeah. That's a okay. thing that just happened. That makes sense, I guess. There's so much turtle lore, I'm unaware of, apparently. It makes way <laughs> more sense than, like... I know, I guess they sort of explained it as her being... Adopted, I think, in the 2000 ones, but that was still so weird when you found out he was an it was an Ultron. You found them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, was there more to the out? Lowly pathetic monstrosities, prepare yourselves. Ah! <laughs> All right, so Cry is kind of special in this in this fight. Oh, you, we do want to try to bring her down as quick as we possibly this. can, but she will also tend to jump away from the fight and jump onto a ceiling and hang upside down. It's impossible to keep track of this lady, unfortunately. She yeah. flies around everywhere. Yeah. So, and you gotta do quick work again to get to the secret boss of show. So you have now now you have to actually shoot her down because she won't come down for a bit. There we go. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> she yeah. summons mooks, which I appreciate. Little does she know about the rule of ninjas. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just will keep summoning them as long as we ignore them. <laughs> Lord of the Eye is doing a better job of tracking her. Right? <laughs> oh, hey, you did it. Ooh. Yes. <gasps> oh god! Not oh, Shredder. Wow, that is actually scary. I like how it's all in the first person too. First person Shredder mode. <laughs> and they're all like, oh shit. Weaker than I even anticipated. Shit just got real. Hell yeah. Yes, yes it did. The Shredder is no joke, right? Uh, not um, at all. I imagine he would wreck your shit in this fight. Yes, he probably would. He's also technically the final boss of this game, so you get an early preview of what he's capable of. But then, if you didn't think he was going to be, you haven't played a Ninja Trolls game at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. Does he bring elite ninjas with him, or does Karai summon those? I think Karai summons them. Usually the the secret bosses come in by themselves. Those elite ninjas are dicks. Yeah. They're, they're really hard to stunlock, uh, and they tend to break... just tend to stunlock you as well, so... Yeah, <laughs> god, half the turtles are already down. Yeah, check those sodas. I'm trying to. I'm, I want to bring this fight to an end. Oh yeah. <laughs> Air dance party. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and Shredder did do a move, so. It only hurts when I breathe. And then Ripes. And blink. But I don't think Karai's actually going to jump away from us anymore, because we brought her down far enough, she'll just stick around and fight. That's mm -hmm. always good. I noticed that Shredder seems to be taking very little damage. Ooh, because everybody's focusing on both people. Oh, we're done. Oh, well, down to just you now. <laughs> Knocked Leo off the building there. <laughs> oh, Leo's. Oh, dear. Yeah, so at this point, I'm I'm not even going to risk it. I'm down to like one little thing. If I go down, the fight's over. Yep. Right. Fortunately, people revive after time, so... Here comes Mikey. Is there like a three down system or something? Where the more you get down, eventually you just instantly get knocked out? Yes. Okay. There is a system for that. But in single player, if you if everybody goes down to the sewers to revive themselves, it's a, it's game over. Right. In multiplayer, that's not actually a, that big of a problem, as long as the player can eat pizza fast enough, they can come back into the fight. 
And there also continues. So, wait, do you like, if you are actually sent to the, the, um, layer, do you just like get a separate screen where you just have to mash a button to eat pizza or something? That's yeah. right. That sounds actually amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine it would get boring after a while, but still, kind of a cool concept. Well, as long as you do things right, it keeps the fight going. Wow, Shudder took like a quarter of damage from that that I did. <laughs> yeah. Again, Shredder is probably the toughest guy you'll run into. Which is appropriate. And there goes Karai. <laughs> <laughs> Victory music starts. That kind of is like a sound of kids cheering. Yay! The turtles are dying to Shredder! A little bit more left to go. Shredder's always probably been one of the cooler designs in my book. Just mm -hmm. like, he's always been kind of like, sort of my favorite suitable final boss villain sort of thing. Because it just works. <laughs> <laughs> right in his face. <laughs> yeah, I like that at the end. That was actually pretty good. Uh. Well done. All right. You did it. Yeah. Imagine that on a higher difficulties. I'm pretty sure we wouldn't be watching this video if that was the case. <laughs> you did well. No, not when you not when the next level puts them at like nine health bars for the main fight, then three for the second. Oh boy. Despite getting the secret boss, you still only got an A. That's rough. Yeah. What are these guides, anyway? I don't know. I can never find them. I, I keep collecting them, but I don't know where the, what the hell they do. I, I'm telling you, they're used to upgrade your talismans, your charms. Stand down, Karai. There's nowhere for you to go. Really? You may think you have won, mutant, but soon you and the entire city will fall. Whoa. Look out! Look out. That jetpack was... AWESOME! Awesome or not, it's definitely a serious escalation. Agreed. If we're gonna have any chance at saving the city, we need to get some answers. Fast. And jetpacks. Shut up, Mikey. Just saying. Outstanding work. Now get ready for your next Jetpacks would be pretty cool. Now we're at Armagon proper next time we play this game. Yay. And we're going back into the sewers, aren't we? That's yes. right. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you will. Bye. Right. Well, bye. Bye.